Hello and welcome to this broadcast of the FA Community Shield. Today it's Arsenal against Manchester City. Let's get straight to Wembley Stadium then. The arch looking absolutely at its best on a beautiful, clear day. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello everyone, welcome to the FA Community Shield. I'm Martin Tyler and with me, I'm delighted to say, Alan Smith. Yeah, hi Martin, and I've played in a few of these and as they call it, the traditional curtain raiser. Not always easy to find your best form, you're still at the end of pre-season so the lads aren't fully fit yet. Well, the more established, more successful team you would have to fancy out here, but they are coming up against a well-organised and, and fairly talented outfit, so uh, it might be closer than many people think. This is the Arsenal lineup. up Saka plays with Laurent Koscielny in central defence. Alexis Sanchez starts making his debut. Olivier Giroud is the main striker. Manchester City's lineup today. Wilfredo Caballero plays in goal. Mehdi Benassia starts with Vincent Company in central defence. Sami Nasri starts with James Milner out wide in attack. Alvaro Negredo plays up top with Steven Jovetic. Mathieu Debussy, first game, and he's in the team for this opening competitive fixture, the new signing. Yeah, it took a while to get the transfer completed, but I think the club will uh, glad they... They did manage to secure this player who is a really good talent. Well, the long wait was over, Alan, wasn't it? Finally, Arsene Wenger, after nine years, sprayed with champagne. It was nervy, but they came back from 2-0 down, 3-2 to beat Hull. Yes, those first uh, 15 minutes or so were nerve-wracking, to say the least, for anybody connected with Arsenal, but they did come through it, and uh, at the end of it, they lifted a trophy for the first time in nine years. So you just hope it can be the start of uh, better things to come. Good crowd here, big clubs of course, the FA Community Shield, and we're underway. Well, sometimes it disappoints, but quite often it turns into a really open affair with a few goals. If he wants to keep the attack going, he should be looking to the right. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? And here's the shot! Good uh, defending from the side there that were determined not to concede a goal and took the attacker off. That's uh, a poor effort. Yeah, I think he had uh, one eye on the defenders and the other on the ball, and that's the mistake he made. Mesut Ozil. Arsenal will be looking for victory today, but they know it won't be straightforward. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good interception, Good defensive player there. Debussy, and in goes the cross. It's a corner for Arsenal here. Bakary Sanya, well, for the next couple of hours or so, he's got to forget friendships and try and outwit his former team. Yeah, well, they know all about him and they know what a good player he is, so they'll be guarded. Boss, but it was an easy catch to deal with. Nicredo. Stevan Jovetic. He shoots. Well, they're defending the corner now. They're lining up for it. Better 
to save. Edin Dzeko. They're a man light now, aren't they? Having uh... This could be a chance. Here's the chance. He must have thought that he was going to get the glory at the end of a terrific run. Yeah, I think after that, his teammates were looking on, just expecting him to put it away. Uh, the keeper's equal to it. Into the face of the opposition. Maccio Debushi. Santi Cazola. It's gone out for a throw in. Kieran Gibbs. Santi Cazola. It's going to be a throw here. The opponent read the direction of the throw. Arsenal have yet to make an impact on this game. Well, Manchester City winning the league in 2012. And they were new kids on the block then, Alan. And perhaps in 2014 they did very well because more was expected of them. Oh, yeah, that comes with the territory. It's what Manchester United across the town have coped with all these years under Sir Alex Ferguson. And what you have to do if you want to dominate. And they've certainly got the, the funds to do that. They're going to be around at the top of our game now, I think, for many years to come. And that will be a throw. Kieran Gibbs. Mesut Ozil. Here's the shot. Well, sometimes you say aim at the goalkeeper, it will veer in one side or another. This went straight at the goalkeeper. Alexis Sanchez. This is the chance. Got to be. Trying to get a debut goal. You can't blame him for that, but he need to improve a little bit. Yeah, maybe he snatched at the chance given the circumstances. He didn't relax, but uh, I think he'll be better in the future. FA Community Shield is going to have to prove their point in the second half. It's level pegging at half time. Yeah, two teams that know each other extremely well and uh, a bit of a, a lack of an edge actually to it so far. It's been gripping, hasn't it? The way these teams have gone about their business, uh, very much as predicted. 
And nothing to separate them as yet. They're level at half-time. Yeah, intriguing contest. You look at the two sets of players and uh, they are evenly matched. You can't say there's one team better than the other and, and that's the way it's panned out. So we've reached half-time and the game is scoreless. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. And our match today, Arsenal against Manchester City. First piece of silverware available in England is up for grabs in this second half of the FA Community Shield. Well, it is a pre-season game after all, but uh, it's a trophy you want to lift. It sets you up nicely for the season. Mesut Ozil. We've got a chance to go through the middle here because that's where the other players are attacking. Oh, in goes the cross. Ah, that's a waste. Too close to the goalkeeper. Credo. Return to Yaya Toure. Here's the cross. Well, the defenders read it, but he hasn't had any difficulties dealing with it because it wasn't a very good ball. Oh, he's through. He's in here. Here's the chance. And the goalkeeper gets to it and keeps hold of the ball. Bakary Sanya. Stefan Jovetic. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. There's an Ozil crossing. Defender blocks the cross. And it's going to be his throw here. Good position for Arsenal with the throw. And what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Crystal Palace in the next match in the Barclays Premier League and I can see only one winner. I think they'll find it pretty easy. Well, this is the big call from the coaches, how they earn their money. And they're going to try and alter their style of play here with the alteration of personnel. Santi Cazola. Well, he's got support here. And in goes the cross. Strong play in the air. Chambers. And Tishi. Challenged quickly by the opposition. And in goes the cross. Manchester City piling men forward. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way, the centre-halves are going forward. Well, they're still battling to try and get their search for supremacy successful. Possession facts suggest that, <laughs> that uh, battling is still going on. That's right. One thing having possession, but another thing being positive and using it in the right areas. Mesut Ozil. 
Santi Cazola. Aaron Ramsey. That's very well read. And that's a very good interception. Hard work with a blast on his whistle. Well, as a forward, you're just looking maybe for that one moment that gets you in the headlines. Uh, he hasn't had a moment and really hasn't looked like uh, getting involved in one, so it's a substitution now. Yeah, and as the match went on, his morale seemed to dip. His shoulder slumped, so no surprise, he's got hooked here. Sanya. Looking for Aguero. Goalkeeper out quickly. And he's just plunged onto the ball there. Yeah, that's top class from, from him. And uh, really did help out his defenders there. Oh, it's still goalless here, not much time left. And the next game, Alan. Well, Manchester City go up against Newcastle United after this, and uh, they've been pretty poor today, let's face it. They will need to improve on it. It's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender. Well, they're going for the win, aren't they, in this match that's been so tight with this change. Snatched at it a bit, didn't he? I don't know if this whole situation's getting to him. Coming up, maybe the hardest, some will say less pressure, certainly very important right now. Keeper threatening to die, but he stood up at the ball into his hands. Oh, that's what you've come to see, that's a brilliant goal. Off target with the penalty. Well, look at his run up and even that would go, I think it's a poor effort. situation is Nick from 12 yards everybody thinks he should score there's a lot of pressure on him goal he's hit the post super goal circumstances that's a fine penalty from him in these circumstances and he's put it away all the pressure is on the kick 
taker here. If he doesn't score, they'll lose the game. Well, that's brought it to conclusion, this big, big final here. But sadly, the conclusion is not a happy one for the team that we thought were good enough to win today. We did, and you have to feel for those players because they didn't have the run of the ball when it mattered. One or two decisions went against, and in the end, those factors were the telling moments. Well, there they are, proudly pictured. These are shots that they'll have in their albums for the rest of their lives. Wonderful stuff. And uh, it's a long road, a lot of hard work to get to this point. And you've got to enjoy it, you've got to try and savour every second.